Hello and welcome to my channel. Welcome to Fragments, uh, where we're going to talk about various different fragrances, uh, collections, uh, products, right? That I feel you might want to get for your family member or even for yourself. Sometimes you got to treat yourself, right? Um, if you have not, <clears throat> if my first time ever coming across your page and uh, you haven't seen me before, hello. My name is Claudia Nari, and I would love for you to subscribe and join the family. We have an amazing time over here. We talk about various different fragrances. We just chat back and forth. Uh, if you are one of my fellow subscribers and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit the subscription button below and turn on the notification so that way you never miss a video that I'm going to post. Today's video, and I know you saw the thumbnail, is about the introduction to a body care line. Uh, let me first begin and say that this introduction came from Muffet's Love, which is a channel here, and I'll make sure that I list her channel up here so that you can also follow her too. But once I got into Sugar Mama fragrances, I just kept buying and buying and buying. So. I felt like if I love it, I know that I have to tell you about it. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, stay tuned. All right, I don't want to hold you. We have a lot to get through. So I am going to tell you about each one of them that I got. I want to begin with the oils and then we're going to move into the lotions. Um, it was very affordable. You can get her products from Etsy. Uh, in the description will be a direct link to her website. Uh, the only thing I ask is that you let her know that a video like this came up and was talking about her brand so that she know that we absolutely love her product. So, uh, the first one, my first one, it looks like this. Uh, and I want to say this is the eight ounce bottle, uh, and you can get them in different strengths, right? You can get the regular, you can get it bold, or uh, what she will call strong. Uh, so I went for strong, right? Uh, Muffets did not say <laughs> if you should go strong or not, but I went strong because I wanted I wanted the notes, right? Oh. So I don't know. I'm just going to tell you I went for strong and it is amazing. This one is called Harvest Fig. Harvest Fig is just what you think it is, right? It is like this gooey, ripe uh, fig with just a little touch of fall, right? So you're going to get the almost the feeling of, of the fall season. Your, your uh, pumpkins, the cool weather, the, uh, you know, all the decor with just a little with fig in it so i cannot wait like i cannot wait to wear this um and figure out where i can layer this with some of my other fragrances so today i just want to introduce it to you if you are interested in me telling you what did i layer with each one of them uh individually or however you know what i always say let me know Talk to me in the comments and I'll make sure that I set that aside to do that. But Harvest Fig is absolutely beautiful. It's like a, a warm seasonal type fig. It's not the typical fruitiness, right? Love it. Okay, my other one that I have is on that same line. So I think when I initially got in, I wanted to get some fall ones and I wanted to get some gourmand because I am a gourmand lover. My next one is Rose Saffron Pistachio. Again, it is what she named it exactly what it is, right? So this is like a gorgeous, dewy rose. And then think of a, like a bowl of pistachio, right? Like salted pistachios. 
And then in that, I want you to top it all with saffron. And it's that saffron that's not bitter, right? It's a nice inviting saffron note it is absolutely amazing um this one could be gourmand um I, I haven't put my finger on what i think this is but on the picture on the on the packaging it is like rose petals it's like an ice cream bowl with rose petals on top of it saffron uh rose petals should i say around it saffron sprinkled on top of it with pistachios that's the picture <laughs> this is going to make you hungry. Uh, but if you love Gourmand, you, you're going to love this line. And I don't want to talk too much on it. I'm sorry if I am, but I am just so impressed with the work that she has done. This one here is Toasted Marshmallow. Toasted Marshmallow is like a being at a campfire where they're toasting it on the hot fire you know, and in the middle of the night where the the marshmallow is getting gooey and, so, and of sort. And then it's like you take it and you smash it in between two granola, um, like the granola bars or whatever with some chocolate. That is this. This is the beginning stages and continuation of building a s'more. That is what this smells like good i must say very very good all right now the next one i got i got simply because i i have sweet peach cobbler by nazar and uh sweet peach cobbler is such a gorgeous uh scent like it's just beautiful it has 50 percent oil in it so it's absolutely uh amazing and I wanted to layer something with that, like something to put into, like make a lotion. And because I do like to build my lotions myself, I get an unscented lotion and then I put a little oil in it. Well, I had to get this one. And this is peach cobbler. This is a wonderful blend. It smells like a peach cobbler fresh out the oven, like that was made in a cast iron skillet. Uh, you know, it has that gooey kind of burnt uh or caramelized outing on it is the one that you would like a peach cobbler you would get for the holidays right you know the kind where you put the vanilla ice cream on top of it and it instantly melts that is this that is this so i cannot wait i have my fragrance that i want to wear with and i have the oil now that i can put inside of my unscented lotion Okay, my next one I got simply because I wanted to have, uh, again, I wanted to have an oil that I could blend in uh, for all of my caramel fragrances. And throughout this series, you are going to get a video that's going to talk about my caramel uh, fragrances and why I'm absolutely in love with them. So stay tuned for that. So this is, like I said, subscribe so that way you don't miss out on these videos. Uh, but this one here is called Sultry Caramel. So it's almost like a sexy caramel. It's not that typical adolescent caramel. This is like the caramel dessert that you would get at a fancy restaurant. You know, they bring it out to you and it has the steam still coming off the top of it. Uh, it's also, uh, one where the caramel is dripping, like when you would think that when you make caramel in on the, in a saucepan, you dripping it on top of of all your desserts. Yes, sultry sultry caramel is going to be amazing with my caramel scents. Okay, now I want to talk about the lotion. So first lotion I got was simply because I am in love with uh, brown, sh brown Sugar Fig by Bath & Body Works. They have not come back out with it. I don't know why they have not come back out with that spray, but, I, but I'm, I'm kind of babying or, or slowly using my spray 
And once they come out with it again, I'm gonna buy some more. So every time they come out, I buy like two or three of them. That might be the only fragrance I have or body spray that I have from Bath and Body Works that I do buy uh, backups for because they don't never really keep it in stock. So this one here is called Brown Sugar Fig. It was a gorgeous, 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 perfect match. The lotion was a perfect match. Cause it's when if you think of brown sugar fig, you're thinking of a of a of a like a that it has this sugary note to it, like on fig, right? So think of fig. So if you have a fig fragrance and you and you know fig sometimes can be fig leaf, right? And you want to give it more of a, like a sugary sweet fig note, then this one would do that. Uh, it's the type of fig that is like laced in brown sugar. I cannot wait. I am so excited about this brand. I really hope y'all try it out. Uh, my next one I have that's a lotion is Caramel Marshmallow. Because I do have Love Don't Be Shy. And I have a couple of marshmallow scents. But I do feel like my marshmallow scents are kind of one level. You know, it's just marshmallow or it's floral, right? So I wanted one that would give me like a like a chocolate caramel marshmallow so if i want to add sweetness this one here caramel marshall marshmallow is going to add the sweetness so i want you to envision a marshmallow that's sprinkled on top with like uh like a cacao or a um or or like say an apple like you know apple you can get around the fall and they and they circle around it they put they wrap it in chocolate and it's caramel apple and then they put marshmallow they melt the marshmallow around it that is what this is that is what this smells like man my fragrances are just not going to be the same after this so because i'm trying to get into a more latonic uh fragrances um i do like milk i will admit that i do like milk uh by commodity but sometimes it can kind of milk on me can kind of get sour like i also like blanche bet but i'm just so scared of the sour milk note right so i haven't found one yet but this lotion I did find was, um, gave me the Latonic, but it's like a Latonic on the ice cream, like an ice cream milky note. That's what this was, like an ice cream. And it's called, if I, not, if I didn't say the name, it's called Dulce de Leche Ice Cream. So that's where the ice cream note comes in at. So what I'm gonna try to do is with my, my coffee or chocolate fragrances, I'm gonna cover myself with this lotion uh, because I think the blend would be absolutely amazing. It's like leche mixed inside, like it's like a leche mi mixed inside ice cream. That is what this is. Ooh, this is good. So all right, my gourmet lovers, this is the line. This is the line for you to go get. All right, so I could not bypass this one when I saw it on the website. Uh, you, you just can't be from New Orleans and not like beignets, right? So this one here gave me like the Cafe du Monde French uh, beignet smell. There is by, um, by his perfumes, he has a... Uh, Cafe du Monde beignet uh, fragrance, which I think would be amazing with this. Uh, it just reminded me so much of what those beignets are. Now here I, I've seen in Texas where they've made beignets, but it's more like they they make it like a like a almost like a donut. Um, I don't know if y'all even know what that is, but it's like a donut cake, like little donut drops, donut drops, and they sprinkle the uh, Powder, powder sugar on top of it but this is more on the level of cafe du monde this is your donut that is in the white bag and you got to shake the powder sugar on top of it that's what this is and i love it it's called french beignet okay i just could not 
not get a chocolate one, right? <laughs> I try not to get a chocolate one in the oil uh, because I have so many chocolate fragrances. Uh, so I did get this one here, uh, which is called Chocolate Amaretto Cupcake. So I want you to think up. Oh, this is good. Oh, this is so good. Think of like an amaretta dessert, right? So you have like it's amaretta dessert in my mind is like a more creamy uh, dessert that has uh, chocolate like sprinkled on top, almost like chocolate dust or shaved chocolate on the top of it. And then on top of that, think of it as a cupcake, right? So there's like a cupcake note in it with a chocolate cupcake again sprinkled on top with chocolate that's this chocolate amaretta cupcake like i don't know if she was making these because these are her favorite desserts <laughs> but this smells so good i feel like i'm gonna be absolutely edible when i wear these now the last one that i have of current because of course you know once she restocks i am buying some more uh, but this one here is called Honey Apricot Amar um, Amarosia, right? All my honey fragrances is going to work with this. Of course, you know Amarose, um, Amarose um, Imperial by AI is going to work with this one here. This is, oh, it's so good. This is like dried apricot with uh like a like a liqueur a amaretta liqueur sprinkled on top of it and then uh another one that you can envision is like a dessert this is literally a dessert where they put the apricots inside of like the pie uh you find it mostly around the holidays you'll get this one but I cannot wait to wear this honeyed apricot amarosa with amarosa imperium or with any of my honey fragrances. So we have went through the six lotions and the five oils that I bought. And like I said before, I just wanted to introduce it to you all to tell y'all about Sugar Mama fragrances. And I wanna send out a thank you to Muffet's Love for bringing it to my attention in one of her videos because I have completely fell down the rabbit hole and I'm going to continue to buy from this line. If you have any of these Sugar Mama fragrances, tell us about it. Make a video and tag me in the video so that way we can get her brand out to more people. I would love to hear your take on Sugar Mama um, fragrances. So on that note, I want to tell you have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, whenever it was that you had an opportunity to watch this video. And I hope you are subscribed and you're staying tuned because uh, I'm, I'm trying my best. I'm going to try to get these videos out to you. So each day or most of December, we'll be talking about fragrances. I'll see you soon.